Hello once again, what I'm going to cook today in my convection oven is tuna and mushroom macaroni which is uh, a very tasty and easy dish to do for your family. So I've set out here on the bench top the main ingredients for this recipe. You can see I've got macaroni pasta, I've got a tin of tuna, an onion, some button mushrooms, a red chilli and some mozzarella cheese that goes on the top of it all and some panko breadcrumbs. Now the breadcrumbs are optional but I find it makes a nice uh, crispy uh, topping on the top but uh, that's optional if you uh, like to leave that out that's quite okay up to you. Alright we'll come back a little bit later and uh, once I start the preparation. Okay here's the onion and the red chilli sauteing in the pan while the um, macaroni is boiling in the background. Uh, so I'm cooking the macaroni for 8 minutes as according to the directions on the pack then I'll take it out and set it aside and I'm just about to add the mushrooms to the onion and the chilli as well I won't cook the mushrooms uh, for very long I just want to soften them slightly so I don't want them to um, be too overcooked Right, this has now been cooked and you can see the mushrooms are only lightly cooked and I'll now add that to the tuna in the bowl and stir it through and then what we'll then do is uh, make the white sauce and mix that through all the ingredients in the bowl. So I'll come back in a little bit and I'll show you the procedure for making the white sauce in the microwave. You can make it on the pan if you wish but I find it so much easier in the microwave. Right, I now need to make some white sauce and as I said before I'm going to make this in the microwave. So to make two cups of white sauce what you need is two ounces or 60 grams of butter, a third a cup of plain flour and two cups of milk. Now what you do, you melt the butter in the microwave but you keep an eye on it because you don't want it to go brown. So just keep an eye on it and you might need to stir it with a fork so it, uh, so it melts. And then you add the flour to make a roux and you need to cook the flour in the microwave until it... Uh, until it bubbles but don't cook it too long otherwise it will go brown so it just needs to bubble so you know it's it's cooked then you add the milk a third of a cup at a time and heat it till it starts to thicken then add uh, further lots of milk until you get up to the uh, the two cup amount that you're making okay well, we'll come back when the white sauce is done or I can show you some progress during the white sauce if you'd like Okay, right I've now melted the butter and added the flour and mixed it into the melted butter and that's what it should look like. You can see it's a, uh, it almost looks like lemon marmalade. So it's now important to cook that and uh, you need to be very careful, you just want it to bubble. So to show that it's cooked you do not want to cook it too long because it will go brown. And this is an essential part. Okay, we'll come back a little bit later. Right, it's now come out of the microwave after it got to the stage where it bubbled, so you can see what it looks like. And it is essential to cook it so it bubbles, otherwise your white sauce will have a floury taste. And you don't want that, of course. So now all you do is add uh, the two cups of milk a little bit at a time, or probably a third of a cup at a time, and uh, stir it and do it in the microwave until it gets the consistency that you need. Alright, we'll be back and I'll show you what that looks like. Right, there's a finished product. Beautiful creamy white sauce. You can see it there. It probably took about, um, probably about uh, three or four minutes in the microwave, but as I said, do it in small bursts and then uh, gradually increase. So it depends on the thickness of the white sauce that you want and also the power of your microwave, how long it will take. So you can see uh, that's really, really nice. Okay, we'll uh, now put it uh, all together and put it in the baking dish and uh, make our tuna macaroni and mushroom bake. Right, I've now stirred the macaroni into the tuna uh, mixture and uh, you can see it's well uh, stirred through. What I used, I used 250 grams of macaroni for this and you can see the size of the uh, size of the bowl that it's in and I'll now put the white sauce through the uh, mixture I wanted to show you first of all 
what it looks like because it looks a little bit better than uh, when you put the white sauce all through it. Then we'll put it into our bowl. I'll sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on the top and a little, some panko breadcrumbs and it'll go into the convection oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. So it won't take long. Okay, come back soon. Right, the amount that I made was sufficient to go into two baking dishes. You can see this one here is just over an inch high and I've got it topped with the mozzarella cheese and this one I've put the panko breadcrumbs on top of this one so you can see that one there also about the same height that bowl so I'll need to cook them separately so uh, I just want you to see one without the breadcrumbs which is this one here and also the one with the breadcrumbs but I plan to put breadcrumbs on both of them anyway so uh, I'll show you what they're like when they're cooked okay this one's been in the convection oven for just about 12 minutes and you can see it's starting to brown nicely in there the breadcrumbs are starting to brown so about another eight minutes and it will be done and I'll get it out and uh, I'll take a piece out put it on a plate and let you see what it looks like okay there it is um, it's come out very nice and I've had a taste as well it's very tasty so um, you may like to give this one a try it's very easy to do um, the longest process part of the process is really making the white sauce but um, it's not a difficult thing to do and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time okay thank you and uh, see you again soon